I'm going to go ahead and do another example how we can rewrite an equation in vertex form uh, when we don't know the a value, but we're given the vertex and we are also given a point on the graph, or we can choose any point on the graph. So, for example, we can see that our vertex is 3, 1. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write an equation in vertex form. So we know writing our equation, it is y equals to the a value, x minus h, squared, plus k. So in this case, we know that our h, k is 3, 1, which happens to be our vertex. So we can already use that to plug in a uh, that point into the equation. Now we can choose any point on this graph um, to find our a value. So for example, if we choose this point, we will get the same a value, which is the point right here of uh, 2, 0. So the point 2, comma 0 is on the graph. If we choose that to plug into as our x, y into the equation, we will get the same a value as, as if we would have chosen the point 4, comma 0. So let's go ahead and plug in these values into the equation and see what the a value is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and first plug in the vertex. So that would be y equals 2. A and the H value is 3, so it'll be X minus 3 squared. Let me write that. And our K value is plus 1. So just writing in the vertex, we have that Y equals to some A value times X minus 3 squared plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a point 2 comma 0. I'll do that in a different color. Um, and then we're going to solve for A because once we know uh, the H, the K, the X, and the Y, then we only have one unknown and we could solve for the equation. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a 2 right here for X and we're going to put in 0 for Y right here. And then we will simplify the whole equation. So plugging all those values in, we get that 0 equals A. 2 minus 3, 2 minus 3 we already know is negative 1, so I'm just going to put negative 1 squared, and then plus 1. Well, negative 1 squared is just 1, so I can go ahead and rewrite this as 1a plus 1. And then now you can see we can solve for a by just subtracting one from both sides of the equation. If we subtract one on both sides, this here cancels out. So cancels, and we are left with negative 1 equals 1a, which actually would mean that, let me write it here, negative 1 equals a. So our a value is therefore negative 1, and then once we know that the a value is negative 1, we can rewrite this whole equation and just plug in our vertex. So the equation of this graph is y equals 2, and it makes sense that the graph goes down, so the a value is negative, negative 1 times x minus 3 squared plus 1. Looking at the graph again, you could see that the hk or that your vertex is 3 comma 1 right here. The graph does point going downwards and so this is our general equation right here.